Um, I thought I'd do a, I thought it'd be fun just to do a quick um, overview of Coda for the for MacOS. Um, web, it's a web development package all in one. And I've recently bought it after having been um, using things like Aptara and Komodo Edit. And I um, thought it'd be nice to have an all in one sort of package, um, which, which Coda is. And it lets you um, basically develop websites. So a quick overview, this is this is the window itself. Um, you've got your sites here, which you set up to um, you've got all your FTP server details and um, so you've got site name, FTP server. Got SSH access onto your host, you can set that up. Um, it enables you to use uh, source code management tools, which I haven't figured out yet. <laughs> and it's also got settings for a rather neat um, MySQL or database editor. Quite neat. So anyway, you set that up, and then you go in and you open the site. And what you've got is a pretty neat way of seeing your, like for instance, I've got here my JavaScript in in the top window, and my PHP script here and CSS script and. It's all, it's all in one place, so you, so you can um, sort of flick between it really easily. You don't need to go and find different applications. And if you do want to open these, open one of these in a different window, you can do so. If you click on the, um, if you right click on the on the path. Each each editor window has got this little like little list of paths, and if you um, right click on the files there, you can uh, oh, it's just gone off the screen. But many down here says so open in split open, show in Finder. You can make you can basically it's an all in one window application, but it also lets you use another window if you want. Um, these, these things up here represent either your files or um, books or MySQL edit editors. Um, it comes with links to all these books which are actually available on the web free but Kind of a nice, nice sort of built-in search functionality. Um, <laughs> you haven't fallen asleep yet. Preferences. I've got a few similar preferences. Um, you can sync your sites and clips to iCloud if you're feeling brave. That supposedly lets you share the settings across multiple computers. Um, obviously, you can configure the editor for all different um, those different settings. It comes with its own uh, custom font, monospace font from Panic, which is pretty nice. Set up the settings from your FTP servers. Terminal settings. Don't really use a terminal proxy server. Um, 
it's also on on Coda it enables um, people to write plugins and I've got I haven't actually got it installed on this system but it lets you as a plugin which runs um, HTML tidy and all that all that stuff which some of some of those features um, aren't supported in some of the freeware tools you can get The thing I like about it is that the, the, most thing that, the thing that made me smile most is when you go into when you go into um, the editor, you see it like draws a little blue circle around the matching quote, which is pretty neat. Um, you can also actually change the um, uh, syntax mode. From the tech, which you can't see because it's on my other monitor, but I've got a syntax mode menu, and you can actually, like when you've got HTML and PHP in one file, you can manually select, you can easily select which mode you want the syntax mode to be in. Um, also, it's got this integrated um, file browser thing here. Is my SQL, uh, my FTP server, and my local directory. So, in theory, when you go to your project settings and set up the local and remote URLs, and um, FTP directories and logins and everything, you can just do a one click sort of um, publish site thing. Which in practice works very well. Um, so I'll just show you the MySQL in a minute. Just show you the password. I'm going, show, I'm going to show everyone my password, I don't care, I don't think anyone will log in. But. That didn't doesn't actually work, but if normally when you go, you could if you tell it which database to connect to when you um when you first connect. Sense for username. So here we go, you've got a really neat um, MySQL editor. My table's here. Structure, content, and query. Pretty amazed at that. Like, this is just a free web hosting account, and I was surprised you could get date, uh, remote database access. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is you can actually preview your web page in a, in a WebKit browser. Preview if you've got if you set up properly. Um, I 
we see in the sidebar. If I click here, you can see it brings up the sidebar and there's a whole extra set of features here. Um, <laughs> what you got, you can add um, clips, things which you use regularly. And if you look around the web, you'll find various clips. Um, or you can, let, and you can have site specific clips or um, global clips, which is pretty neat. So select files from there. You can navigate to specific parts of the cover of the current file, for example, functions in a JavaScript file. And like I was saying earlier, if you've got um, your site set up properly, you can publish them all with one click. Also manage your source code settings from here if you've got Git repository set up, and that enables you to uh, do version control and keep track of changes and all sorts of clever stuff which I don't really need, <laughs> but it's nice to it's nice to have there. Let's you use a use a companion application on your iPad or I think yeah, I think it's an iPad which lets you use that as a remote preview, which I haven't got set up. Can't afford it. <laughs> Can't afford more software. Um, you can search. You can do a direct search on um, on reference book. Obviously, what I've done here is I've actually opened um, these files in splits, which, which is what I said when I first started talking. Um, here, the file is all is um, just in just in one pane. Go to the window menu. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if, if you're interested in getting it, I would definitely have a look at the Coda blog. And they've got a um, they've got a on their web page. It says um, on Panic Software web page, shows you a list of twenty um, cool things you can do. Everything from um, text processing to keyboard shortcuts and all sorts of neat stuff. Um, I guess I've really, really started to enjoy um, getting into web development with, with my Mac. Um, it really feels very integrated and well thought out. And um, it sort of answers the question, what what web development tool should I use? Um, <laughs> the, the, the only other thing I would say is that if you do want to learn about Coda, um, Two things to say. There's a book by O'Reilly, which which is quite good. It's a short little book, so I'll read that. And also, um, I actually bought it from the App Store, and, and because you, if you buy it from the App Store, you can install it on multiple machines. So I've got it installed on all my Macs, which is pretty neat. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Just a little overview. I hope you, I hope you found it useful. I hope I'm not too boring. Um, I'm gonna have to change my database password now, I suppose. I haven't shown him one, but don't mind. Um, yeah. So, if you've got any um, questions about it or any any dull comments, let me know. Hope this has been of some use to somebody. Bye for now.